Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. I just have a couple of things, so I figured I'd open them up. My kid is trying to go down for a nap, so I'm on dad duty with the monitor. She's talking to herself. So she might pop in here and there. Uh, real quick, I wanted to talk about these. So, I mentioned this in a video previously about apparel. Um, I love these boxers. They're from Step 1. And... They have all different kinds. Their uh, packaging is all compostable or whatever. But as you can see, I got the Valentine's Day ones. Um, what I love about their boxers is, first off, you want to get the ones with the fly. Unless you're not a fly guy. <laughs> fly guy. Look, they're a little... Uh, what the hell are those things called? I don't remember. Uh, and then I always go in here. And they have this little scissor thing right here, but... They just rip right out, no problem. Um, and I recommend doing it that way, but you can do whatever you want. I guess it could cause issues, but I haven't seen it tear up. I guess there it got one of the strings, but it should be fine. I've been wearing them for months with no issue. But my favorite thing about these is the anti-chafe technology right here. So this is in on the inner thigh. And if you're a bigger dude like me, you know what chafing is. And it can be frustrating, especially like in cold months or depending on the pants you're wearing, stuff like that. Uh, depending on how much you walk, all that stuff. Um, these are really, really comfortable. It feels like you're just kind of floating in your boxers, which is cool. They don't have a, a, an obnoxious ball hammock like some do. Um, they do have a, uh, obviously they have a pouch there for you, um, but it's not like an obnoxious one. So um, unless, you know, you have a... Um, a BBC, you should be good. So we got that pair. And this is my final order, uh, for now at least. I have now ordered, I started with three, and then I think I put three or four more orders in of five each. <laughs> and they are, they're not cheap. If you order five, you get a discount, and they end up being like 20 bucks a pop, something like that. I think I paid somewhere around 120 for five. And that's fine for me um, if they're going to be the best boxers I've tried. Now, I know some of you guys are going to go on your thing about Duluth Trading and um, other brands, um, Tommy John or, or something like that. Um, got the uh, tripper here. But these are different. They're not... That one didn't come out as clean as I like, so that's not good. Um, but I'm not going to cut them where they say to cut them because then it's going to itch my my ass crack and i don't need an ass crack, ass crack itch so i'm just going to burn this down not the house just do that that'll keep it from having an issue um but yeah these are hot dogs which is dope um tommy john's are another one they're real expensive um i think i noticed that bombas I just got a bunch of their... I know this is way off topic. Sorry, guys. It's not knife stuff, but check it. I just got a bunch of their socks. Regular size socks. I've only ever had their longer ones. My dad would get us for Christmas. Um, so I wanted to try their shorter ones. So far, so good. We'll see if they hold up better than... You know, like Adidas socks that, it, you know, they get a hole in them after a year. Um, these are pizza. So, like I said, I've ordered like 20 pairs at this point. I wanted to, you know, have basically my full wardrobe uh, decked out. So, I guess it's supposed to come out like that. I think this string is supposed to come out, honestly. Um, so, let me just do this. Usually, I'm wearing them when I do this. Um, I wear them and then I just rip the tag out and then I end up washing them. I never even notice what's going on inside. So since I'm standing here, um, why am I doing this? Well, I'm just kind of melting the string instead of, uh, cutting it because if you cut it, you could leave it in loose and then it could fray and then you end up with the whole thing jacked up. So that's why. Um, but yeah, Duluth Trading, there's a lot of other ones people really like, and that's awesome. But personally, I like these. These are bamboo viscose. 
and they're just thin. Like, they almost feel like, uh, like gym shorts in a sense. That sound is coming from the paper in there. Um, they almost feel like really thin gym shorts that you're wearing. They're just so comfortable in my opinion. Um, but I know some people are going to want that nice warm, like wool feeling. Then you want to go with something like the Duluth trading ones. They're just more substantial. This is not substantial, if that makes sense. Not in a bad way, but it is what it is. And I know they're pricey, but they're good. So I'm fine with paying for quality. And there's that anti-chafe. And I'm not sponsored by these people. I don't have a link. I'll put a link in the description, but it's not like my link. Um, I just I just really enjoy the boxers. And I've bought so many lately that I just kind of... It's become something I want to share, you know? Um, rip the tag. Man, I probably should have paid attention when I did this on all my other ones, but it's okay. But yeah, I probably have like $500 into these boxers at this point over the last three months. But now, hopefully, I am good with boxers. Plums. I have bananas, strawberries, ice cream, plums. I got all types of shit. All right. So there we go. That's the boxers. Check out step one if you're interested. Um, I think that's... I think that's good. <laughs> Sorry for that. All right. And then this one is knife related this one is from my boy troy at northwoods leatherworks northwoods leatherworks co yeah uh, by the way the grant tripper is a really cool knife 250 bones up on pre-order should still be up at this point um really good size much smaller than the gripper um so check it out this is a knife coming back he was fixing up a slip for me and then there's a new slip as well so all right, so what we have here is my shank knives ally, and he made a slip for me. This is in the, I believe it's like a, a red Butero leather, and then it has a, a wax over it. So it actually is red underneath. The more you carry and use it, that red will kind of come through, see? Really cool stuff. And then uh, I sent along the knife so he could, one, cut it to size, and two, check it out, because I really like this knife. Um, it is an AEBL, which is the only downside to the knife, in my opinion, but otherwise it's uh, fantastic. Somebody compared it to the Rockwall, and I actually just got one. Shout out to traditionalpocketknives.com. Uh, they sent me this to review and keep. I'm going to pass it around to some other guys. Here is a side-by-side, -side, because I know some people were comparing them. So, similar in a sense, but completely different as well, in my opinion. The handles are completely different. The blades are completely different. Obviously, this one has Magna Cut. It's at 61, uh, which uh, I want to note that in my unboxing, I kind of harped on the 61 on this and the Bear. Um, but I think I realized what it is. It's the coating. So... It probably was 62, you know, and then they coated it, and now it's 61. That might be what it was, um, because the coating will uh, remove an, it will remove one HRC, basically, because they have to heat it up to apply the uh, coating, as far as I understand. Could be different with DLC, um, but this is real DLC. This is not a PVD, um, so anyway. There's your comparison. I wonder if this would fit right in here. Nope, because of the studs. Man, this knife is just so cool. Yeah, I really love this knife. And now I have a baller slip. And it's got a good fit. Because before, it was a little too long, in my opinion. I couldn't quite grip it. And now it's easy to grip and rip so i really like that so thank you to troy for uh updating the slip for me it's got an interesting feel to it um kind of like squeaky sort of all right and then we have this this is for my 
I've been carrying it in this OCD for EDC clip slip. So if you're interested in a clip slip, you should go over to OCD for EDC.com, go to Jack Wolf Knives, and you should see these on there. But I am more of a slip slip guy, as you know. I love Troy's work, and he honestly makes knives better. And here is how we're making this one better. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that shit right there. So we were trying to match. <laughs> yes. We were trying to match the Britney Blue to the slip. Oh, my God. He killed it again. Oh, he's a monster. This, I believe, is Natro Pueblo, which I haven't had any Pueblo in a while. So we thought it would be cool, or I thought it would be cool to have a little bit of Puebs. And, yep, we got plenty of grip there. And there she is. She's in. So... I'm gonna pinch it this is how we roll we tuck it and then we pinch it all around the edges to try to get it molded a lot of people were telling me i need to wet mold my slips and i'm kind of tempted to do it i don't know how to do it so i need someone to teach me and then i'm gonna maybe do it to all of my slips if it's something i can do in a batch i'd prefer to do that like just batch it and then put like what you put like concrete on it and weigh it down or something i usually just let them break in naturally like this you know I, I pinch the corners do all that stuff and then i carry it you know and after say here i'll show you this is my one from last month the low drag you know carried the shit out of it and I'd say it's molded pretty well. I mean, it's not like stuck in there, right? Some leather is a little more um, tight than others, I think. No matter how stiff the leather is, it kind of soft forms to the product. But, like, it's not coming out unless I throw it down, right? But if you look at, say, my Venom, this is Butero leather. This one, there's no way you're shaking that out. I mean, it's like, sometimes it's hard to get out of there. Um, so, it just depends on the leather, I guess. Here's the white Butero. This one is the same way. I mean, you're, there's no getting this puppy out of there. You gotta wanna, you gotta wanna get her out. So, um, I don't know. But it would be cool to wet form this one, uh, specifically. Because you can tell it's very stiff and it's like not even forming really around the knife all that much. Um, but like if you look at some Pueblo, purple Pueblo, this is like, you know. But it looks, you can see the whole knife in there, right? Like that's cool to me. So yeah, anyway, it's something I want to uh, look into a little bit. But here we are with our um did i get that in straight uh oh i think so make sure i want it to be straight down the line I know, guys, but this is how I roll. OCD takes over, and I got to mess around. There we go. And it might want to be off a little bit. The, uh, the Venom was like that, too. When I put it in, it always wanted to push the blade a little bit more to this side than this side. I don't know. You might not be able to see it, but I can. But I fought it for a while, and I think I got it to where now it's, like, straight down the middle. Like that. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, this is sexy as all get out. See, this is what I mean. Like, his slip makes the knife better because now the knife is sexier looking in this slip, and I want to carry it like this, <laughs> if that makes sense. I want to carry the knife more because it's in this slip. This is going right into my pocket. Um, 
And here's another example. This knife is amazing, right? I really like this knife. But it is now better. And I want to carry it more because it is in Troy Slip. So um, he should have a saying. Northwoods Leather Works Co. Making knives better. <laughs> it's kind of pretentious. But hey, what are you going to do? Um, all right. There you go, guys. Uh, that's some boxers and an awesome slip or two from Troy. And, uh, yeah, my, uh, my case over here of Jack Wolf's and Northwood slips is really piling up. Um, I even got a new Jack Wolf. I already had the Cyborg right here. I have the Cyborg in the pink camo. And I absolutely, actually, I should compare these real quick. I absolutely love the pink camo. Good jump, good pop. Yep. This one might be ever so slightly stiffer. Not, I don't think it's the spring. Maybe, uh, but I think it's more of the action. Just needs to break in a little more. I could adjust the pivot, but I don't. I don't want to mess with that. I'd rather it just break in. So I'll oil it and I'll carry it and then whatnot. But anyway, I have the pink one, and I mean, oh, look at that slip. Um, so. I bought this one because I just really like the way the Toxic looks. I could never decide between the two. Um, and Troy is working on a slip for this. So we're going to do, I believe what we're going to do is, what did we decide to do, Troy? I can't remember. Uh, it might have been yellow leather with a green thread, or it was green leather with a yellow thread, something like that. Um, but it was going to match the color, which is going to be cool as shit, in my opinion. So, um, yeah. Lots of cool stuff in terms of knives from Ben and slips from Troy. And he does, oops, he does slips for, um, he does slips for a, a lot of different knives. It's not just, you know, Jack Wolf's. That's just mainly what I use them for. Um, he also does tactile bear slips he really loves this model and he has some really good slips for this one um that's kind of i think um i think that's what started this journey with troy is i had the tactile bear and i was looking for a slip and uh, i don't know how we came across each other if he reached out to me or i found him and um he made me a slip for it and um yeah the rest is kind of history at that point um so keep an eye on troy we actually worked on a, a sticker design or a design together slip life colin did the design but uh troy and i kind of collaborated on it and um we have t-shirts up on our website at devoknives.com and we have patches coming in the slip life uh which are going to be cool little ranger eyes so um, if you're interested in slip joints and you're living that slip life, then uh, you should stay tuned. And uh, yeah, love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.